Red McCraith. How very good it is to see you. Are you well? We make do. We're almost happy. Well, that's saying something, things being the way they are. We owe you for that. We'd like to repay you. If you can bring the iron, we'll craft you something fine. And glad to do it. I heard Fort Jericho used to have a blacksmith. Perhaps you'll find some there? How goes it, Mrs. Eden? Times are hard for everyone, but me? I've never felt so free. I'm almost ashamed of it. Almost. Freedom is good. What do you plan to do with it? You know, once, before I was unlucky enough to meet Fortune Heaton, I was a herbalist. Maybe I'll go back to that. A healer could be useful. Especially if by healing others, she heals herself. Wise words. Thank you. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Thank you for your interest, Mr. McCraith. Greetings. Welcome to Ingersoll's General Store. I'm Bathsheba Ingersoll, the owner. What can I get you? A comb, perhaps? A comb. Very funny. Red McCraith, I'm pleased to meet you. I met your friend, Miss Duarte, briefly in New Eden Town. I'm so sorry for your loss. She seemed a vibrant and resolute young woman. And she seemed eager to leave town as quickly as possible. Tell me about your store. Tell me about you. The original Ingersoll's in Boston was grand and fine, but it burned in the North Square fire of 91. We moved to New Eden with Nathaniel, but before Natty could return home, my husband died. Then came the curse, and now here we are. Welcome to Ingersoll's of Fort Jericho. You never wanted to do anything else. My husband was prosperous and affluent. I was young and clever, we made an excellent match. He taught me everything I know. The store is my business. My legacy. My story. It is who I am. I don't like running a store. I love it. The shopkeeper must hear everything that goes on. Tell me something interesting. Just between us. You assume me to be a gossip monger? What do you wish to know? What can you tell me about Captain Pennington? I love him. Shall we trade? I rather think we should, sir. What interests you? I must take my leave. Thank you for your visit. Do come again.
Good day, Nelly. All the better for your presence, Mr. McRae. I had to dig a little, but I found you some iron. Will it do? It will. Give me a little time and I'll make you something useful. You just wait. You'll love it. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Thank you for your interest, Mr. McRaith. Good day, Nelly. All the better for your presence, Mr. McRae. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Thank you for your interest, Mr. McRae. Mr. McCraith, how good to see you. Just so happens I've something for you. It's not much, but I hope it serves you. You have my thanks, Mrs. Eaton. No, my friend. You have mine. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Thank you for your interest, Mr. McCraith. 